Expectations were high, and investors are, are asking, can you keep this up? What's the future of artificial intelligence? That's why NVIDIA had been running up uh, so much. Let's bring Doug Flynn in on this as the stock drops. It's a funny headline on an earnings beat, but we see this kind of phenomenon sell on the news sometimes. Explain. True. It's, uh, it, it is somewhat of a victim of its own success. The expectations are so high. Uh, it met or exceeded everything, even future guidance, which is one of the things that's been driving things. But no matter how good it was, some of the analysts were like, well, we still would have liked a little bit more. And so we can't continue to buy it. And so that's what happened. Without that big buy behind it, it didn't move forward. Right. It actually retrenched the other way. Uh, and after how much it's up in the last five years, yeah, it's any reason to kind of take some money off the table. People have made a mm -hmm. lot of money in this stock over the over the late recent period. Yeah, there's one year. I have three years on my tablet here. We can switch over to that for a moment. And Doug says five years. You know, uh, you see the sales of 120 percent. So that that'll give you an idea, right? Uh, for, yeah. For, for for three years, I mean, it was pretty much yeah. straight up. There was a number. They had the projected revenue for this quarter, the one they're in, was 32 and a half. A billion dollars. That was two percent mm -hmm. ahead of the target. In other words, what the estimate was. But the right. last time they did that. They beat the estimate by 28 percent. So Correct. you got to stop beating your estimates by 28 percent because then you yep. see now, then when it happens now and you beat by 2 percent, people say not enough. That's right. The, 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 the pace in which they're beating has gotten lower and lower. And let's just put this into perspective. If, if, if what we're banking on, if you go five years ago to today, uh, it's now a three trillion dollar company. If, it, if you wanted to invest in it to hoping it would do the same thing it did in the next five years that it did in the last five years, that would mean that NVIDIA would be a $77 trillion company in five years. And yeah. the entire stock market of the US is $57 trillion. So I, I don't know that anyone should expect that kind of growth going forward. Right. And you know, turning 10,000 into 250,000 in the last five years is great if you think that's gonna turn into almost 7 million in mm -hmm. the next five years, that's the same pace. So I think people have to come down a little bit on their expectations. And also the risk level of the stock, the volatility is, is quite high. It has about twice the volatility of, of Microsoft, which is right. one of the other uh, big you know, seven companies, the MAG7. The MAG7, that's the power trio we have there because they're battling over their, uh, their market cap, what they're worth of the market. I think Apple's a little bit ahead there. You see at the end of the chart, yes. NVIDIA and Microsoft. But Microsoft, you know, as you brought it up, obviously they, it's far bigger, it's more, more in sales. So what do you say to people who look at NVIDIA? First of all, what does NVIDIA do I and mean, there are other companies out there maybe that you look at and say all right they're kind of getting into this artificial intelligence too why is it just nvidia we're talking right. about all the time well and so, some of nvidia's biggest customers are microsoft amazon True. meta alphabet they buy the chips that nvidia creates and they keep making you know yeah. bigger and faster chips all in the support of ai so a the uh, NVIDIA has sort of become the proxy for all things AI, but these other companies are using these chips for their AI, the actual functionality of it. NVIDIA is the chip maker on that. And so, yes, they are very expensive, which is why their, their profit margins are huge. Their profit margins are over 50%. And we were talking right. about you know the grocery stores, which their profit margins are 1.5%. Uh, so, so there's a little bit of room in here, but you're banking on that growth. Uh, these other companies also are involved in AI and all that's going to all that that's going to do, but they're using the chips made by NVIDIA and some other places. But this is the main one that everyone seems to be yep. using. Oh, they were for it's a good story. It's an interesting story. Thank you, Doug. We gotta get back to politics now. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>